Now this tutorial we're just going to show you how easy it is to add a store to your website. Now if you haven't seen the previous tutorials go ahead and smash the button above. You can also check the description for the links. Now this tutorial we're just going to add some premium to our website. Now we've got a basic website and we decided that we want to sell a few of our merchandise. This is going to be a very easy tutorial. Just follow the instructions. Um, there is many ways you could do this, but in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the basic of setting up a store. All right. So stay tuned. Now, one of the first things you want to do is log into WordPress. Now from here, you're going to go plugins and you're going to go add new. In the search, you're going to type in WooCommerce, which is one of the best practices when creating a online store on WordPress. Go ahead and install the plugin and activate it. Now from here, we're going to go to products and under products, we're going to go add a new. Now from here, it's pretty simple. Just type in the name of the product you are going to sell. Also add some description about this product. Now in this tutorial, we're only going to look at simple products. Now in the future, I'm going to do a tutorial that's going to cover variation. Now variation just allows other options uh, to be added like color size. You can add those things to your product. Now go ahead and put in a price for your product. Now go to inventory. This is where we can control how much inventory we carry. We can also add our SKU, which is a unique number to whatever product you are creating. You can pretty much just type this in. After you add your inventory, go ahead and add a new category over to your right. None of the great thing about WordPress is that it allows you to put in tags, which are unique phrases or keywords, which could optimize your product and your website. Now we need to add a product image. Go ahead and either upload or select one that you've already uploaded. This is going to be the first image that your customers see. Then we're going to be adding a few more images to our gallery. These are pretty much the additional images that go along with your product. Now you could either save this as a draft if you are not ready to publish the item, but for this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and publish this item. Now that you've added the first product, let's go ahead and add a few more items to our store. And pretty much we're just going to go through the same process of adding name, description, inventory, category, tags, product images, and gallery images. After we added all our products, we're going to go to our pages. And this is just to check that WooCommerce had installed the additional pages in order for our store to function properly. So the pages you're looking for is your cart page, your checkout page, your account page, and your shop page. Now, as long as these are here, we're just going to make sure that they have in the correct information. So let's just open our cart page. And pretty much what you're looking for when you open this page is that there's a short code that was placed on the page. What this short code will do is create the functionality of a card. The same thing goes for the rest of the page. So for example, the checkout page, there should be a short code in there that will allow the functionality to check out items. Same thing goes for account. It, there should be a short code there that will allow you to create an account. Now I won't get into short codes today, but that's pretty much what the short codes do when you see them on these pages. Now from here, we're going to go to WooCommerce and go to settings. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to adjust our general settings. From here, you're going to add an address. In this case, we're only going to pick a country and a city. You also want to set your selling location. Now, what this does is allow you to either sell to the entire world or you're just going to sell to specific locations. Now, in this case, I'm just going to select US because I'm not going to be selling anything internationally. Here, you also want to select the country or region that you're going to be shipping to. Next, we're going to change our currency. And from here, we're going to select save. Next on our list, we're going to go to products. And from here, we're going to ensure that on the shop page, we select shop. Now, remember those shark codes that we were looked at? That is how the functionality works. Now, from the shop page, it should pick up that page and it should be using those shark codes. If you want, you can also enable reviews or show your own label on customer reviews. 
So we're just gonna jump over to accounts and privacy. So this page gives you a bunch of options like allowing guest checkout, allow people to create accounts. For this tutorial, we won't do that. But there are a few things that we will check on this page, which is ensuring that our privacy policy is in place or check our privacy policies in place as well. We're also gonna set up our personal data retention. And this pretty much allows returning customers to either be able to retain an account, to retain pending orders, to retain fail orders, to retain cancel orders, to retain completed orders so pretty much every time they come back they can see these status if we set up this section so the next thing we want to do is ensure that all our emails are set up correctly for your new orders cancel orders fail orders you want to get a copy of these also because in case any of this happens you need to be aware of it for the rest of the option you are sending them to the customer this is automatically set up the only thing you're confirming here is your email address making sure that it's correct so the last thing we're going to look at here is our advanced tab. And here we're just going to pretty much ensure that all our pages are tied in. So for the cart page, we want to ensure that we've selected that page. And this goes for every other option, your checkout page or my account page if you have one, terms, condition, secure checkout if you have one. All right, so after we've done here, we just want to go and look at our menus. So we're going to go back to appearance menus. And what we're going to do is remove all the menu options that we are not going to be using. In this case, we don't have an account page. We do not want our checkout to be a menu either. So we're going to remove that from our menu options. I think the only one we're going to keep is a shop menu. So let's go and check that out. Ensure that our shop is set up correctly. And there we go. Your shop menu is set up and now you have a shop on your website. What you see to the right though, we're gonna remove those. Those are by default. They're pretty simple to remove. So now that we know that our store is working, we're just gonna add a couple items to our landing page so that when people visit our website, they can see that we're selling merchandise without having to click on the shop menu. So this is gonna be a pretty simple process. We're just gonna add a section and in that section, we're gonna be using a short code. Now short codes are a whole different subject, but what the short code will do is pull the information from our store so that we can now display it on our landing page. Now, again, short code is a whole different subject. I won't touch that today, but you're just gonna see what it does. For the meantime, this is gonna be the easiest way to just drop a few products on your landing page. What I will also do is Put the link that explain how WooCommerce short codes work in the description. Now, after you've added your short codes, the only thing you have to do now is to add the amount of rows and columns you'd want on your landing page. And that's it. Now again, if this has add any value to your life, go ahead and smash that like button. And again, people, thank you very much for coming through. Manas and respect. Take care.